Saddam Hussein put us to the test back in 91. We proved him wrong. He didn't really truly understand this whole concept of precision guided munitions and the kinds of capabilities we had worked on. You know, there were a lot of people in the late 70s and early 80s who um, have led the charge in our transformation that enabled us uh, to have that complete one-sided victory in 1991. Remember that this was late 70s, early 80s, and it was 10 years later when, we, when it was put to the test. I don't know if we have that much time before someone puts us to the test and really exposes where our Achilles heel is. You mentioned competing and competitors. Let's talk about that for a second, because I'm not going to switch to some things our competitors are doing. I'll use China and Russia, specifically AI. Yep. So, is that, talk to me, is that, is that a... Is it's scary. China's got a huge advantage over us. They're doing things that, that we're not. They've made it a national focus that, at least from what I've been able to see, that we haven't. And so AI is not just important, it's everything. Because that, that's how the battles will be fought. A lot of folks recognize that it fundamentally comes down to the OODA loop. Artificial intelligence has capability to significantly speed our OODA loops at every level, tactical, operational, and strategic. But we're not the only ones who understand that. In order to do AI, it's not just about capturing data, which is important. It's not just about algorithms and research into AI. It's how fast can you process them? And we talk about tracking information. We don't track who's making processors. We don't track the advancements in the processors. So if there's somebody in China that has a fab that's building, you know, more advanced processors, that's just as important as keeping track of warheads. Do you feel that AI and the direction that you guys are going is a form of deterrence that could be on par with nuclear? I absolutely believe that when, if our adversaries see us moving at a speed and a scale because it's enabled by AI, that will clearly get their attention. The United States, and I firmly believe, needs to drive the development of AI, otherwise our, our adversaries will. And we can't rely that certain adversaries or certain rivals out there won't develop AI that doesn't meet our standards when it comes to ethics, when it comes to safety, when it comes to surety. I'd much rather be in, in the driver's seat as we develop these capabilities than you know having to play catch up.